August 28th, 2021. A young boy by the name of Callum Cooper. You might have heard of him. Thinks, hmm. I should do a YouTube channel. And so, he pulls out his camera and presses record. I mean, hello, this is my YouTube channel, trailer for my YouTube channel. He gets his camera and starts to just go on and on about what he wants to do on this channel. Talking about things that never really happened, let's be honest. But little did he know that this one video would mark the start of a change in his life. It's Flynn Norton. Flynn Norton, also known as YouTube as It's Flynn Norton, was Callum's neighbour and, in my opinion, <laughs> best friend. They would hang out quite often and Flynn had a channel. And Callum decided that one day, he wanted one as well. All thanks to Flynn. But he's not the only reason Callum got a channel, not at all. But before we talk about that, we need to talk about Callum's experience before creating C. Cooper. Starting with Kilroy. Marks. An evil villain hell-bent on destroying the world with a weapon known as the Kilroy. Also, Callum's first ever role on YouTube. On Flynn Norton's third ever video, Callum made his first appearance on the internet, playing a, well, really crappy bad guy. His acting may not have been great, he may have kept looking at the camera, which really bugs me, and he may have been a bit dumb back then, but this video marked the start of his journey to where he is now, with over 150 subscribers. Yeah, I don't know how I got here either, but let's just appreciate it. <laughs> the kid's been in front of me while yeah, he's, like, he's frisky, he's having a good day. <laughs> very oh, oh, okay. He's my boy! The Dream SMP. Multiple of Callum's favourite YouTubers all getting into one spot, one place, and just doing what they want. That's what Callum wished he could do. He loved these people and he wished he could be the same as them, reach their levels, reach their heights. But most specifically, Wilbur Soot, Tommy Innit, and Technoblade. He wished to be like them, he wished to upload to YouTube, he wished it could be a job for him. And so, he started. He loved doing Dream SMP content. Every day he would think at school, what should I do when I get home for the Dream SMP? Eventually he may have died down with his obsession, but it never stopped him from wanting to be like them, from wanting to be like the people he loved. And that's not even all the people who've inspired him. Edgeworld, an animated show created by the sadly passed Ed Gould and a beloved piece of history to plenty of people, one of which was Callum Cooper. He adored this show, absolutely loved it. He wanted to make something like it, which is where Sticky came from, but never got finished. And he just loved how creative and fun they could be with the show. He wished he could do that, do his own things, be as creative and as funny as them. Which encouraged him to make his first ever skit. Sinners. Callum's first ever skit not including the bad ones, and the starting point of the launch of his channel. This video marked Callum's admittedly not very funny humour, as well as setting the tone for what the rest of his channel would hold. Dumb funny jokes. 
this was also the project that at the time Callum had put the most effort into, coming up with jokes before the video was even filmed, I know shocking right, and even coming up with a funny ending, which got scrapped for admittedly a better ending. But this marked the point of no return for Callum, the point where Callum went from a kid just trying to live out a dream to a YouTuber. What am I saying? I had like 30 subscribers at this point. Hello there, welcome to chapter 2 of my, what's it called again? Documentary. So, this is going to be a bit of a longer chapter. And... If you don't want to be spoiled on my lore, which I don't think anyone cares about, don't watch this section. Just don't. Yeah. So, prepare for the rants of a madman who made lore at 3am two years ago. <coughs> oh wait, there's some stuff I need to explain first. So there's multiple universes in this, um, uh, Law. There is the Cooper Universe, the Norton Universe, the C the CR Suit Universe, the Josh Universe, and the Extra Universe, which is everyone else. And each of these universes have a overseer. The um, Callum Universe has Callum as an overseer. The um, Norton Universe has Flynn as an overseer. The CR Suit Universe has CR Suit and Horace. The Josh Universe has Cooper as an overseer. And the Extra Universe has a new character called Monolith and Hal Sinner. So, the universes start to grow and the overseers need help to control these universes. So they create Demi-Seers. Callum makes non-canon Benjamin, Flynn makes Wilford, who eventually goes rogue, CR Suit makes the orange, Alex doesn't make one, Cooper makes the Russian and Benny, or in this case Marx, because he has a lot of different names, Monolith makes Mini-Me, and Hal doesn't have enough power to make one, because he's a loser. So the demi are like the children of the Overseers, they have a lot of their power, speed, strength, agility, durability, and more, but they are definitely weaker and with less universal creativity or cosmic power. We're just starting, we're not even into like the actual things that's been seen yet. And we're not going to be there for a while. A couple of years after the demi creation, Hal began to form his greatest achievement, the Void Between Times, or TVBT, a place that is all-encompassing yet never existing. It used to keep creatures of destruction locked away from the multiverse and the people who live there. This was when everything went wrong. Oh. Oh, there's a war now. <laughs> oh my, uh, I was mentally, I was m mentally insane back then, Jesus. <clears throat> so, the War of the Voids, which consists of ten groups. The Cooper Armada, led by Cooper, the Norton Knights, led by Flynn, the CR Crushers, led by CR Suit, the Alex Eliminators, led by Horus, the Void Dwellers, led by the Void Monsters, the Monolithics, led by Monolith, the Creative Defenders, led by Callum, and there's two new, um, people. The Kiel, the K0 army, led by Kilatanast, and the R4 defense, led, oh my god, this name, Rorakalast. I don't know either. And then the final group is the only, led by Hal, who at this point has changed his name to Zero. Oh god, there's alliances and everything. The Cooper Armada allied with CR Crushers, Norton Knights, the Creative Defenders, and the Horse Eliminators. The K0 army worked on their own. The R4 defenses allied with the Monolith Monolithics, and the only and the only and the only was the enemy of the war, and was allied with the Void Dwellers. <sighs> oh no, there's so much more left. The war. It started when Hal, aka Zero, 
created the void and accidentally set all the monsters free. He has angered the, all the other overseers and become a major battle. After a decade long battle, Hal is killed by his own alliances and all the overseers split to work on their own. Rise of Zero. A couple of decades after the war, the overseers begin to notice the universes and world glitch. Oh, we forgot to mention that Z that Hal is thought to be dead at this point, along with all the void monsters. Worlds start to glitch and corrupt, and important figures start to get killed, aka the main characters of each world. They went to their worlds in their human forms to hunt down the glitch and found someone called Callum slash Asher Sin, who was going to be the main character of Woodland Homes before it got cancelled. So they decided to lock up Callum to see if the corruption would stop. They didn't. And they just got bigger and bigger and bigger, so they let Callum go and did a deep look into Asher's history. And they found his true name, Hal Zero. Oh, so Callum and Asher are different people. Okay. By the time the Overseers found Zero, his power is too high to be defeated. Too high. Alone. So the Overseers all team up to go through with the remaining worlds, saving survivors and working together. That's all I've written down so far. Oh my god, these are the ramblings of a madman. But yeah, that is the law for you. Um, now, shoot, get out of here. Next chapter. Monsters, a mobile game all about creating your own singing island with your own singing monsters. Also, a large trend recently, and Callum decided that he would hop onto this trend with his first ever custom monster beatbox. It's not actually his first ever, but it's his first ever popular one, so shh. Beatbox immediately accumulated over a thousand views on his first video, being the Plant Island beatbox. But little did Callum know, that was just the start of the beatbox success. He released three other videos after the Plant Island one. Cold Island, Air Island, Water Island. He hasn't got onto Earth Island yet. It's coming soon, my singing monster fans, just you wait. And eventually, the Cold Island one decides, I'm going to blow up while Callum's asleep. He wakes up, pulls open YouTube to see 13,000 views on just the Cold Island video alone, with the rest of them being at least a thousand and over. So, he kept on going, making more My Singer Monsters stuff, joining My Singer Monsters competitions, until it got him to a hundred subscribers. And that hasn't stopped. It is still going. He's going from 100 to 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, and by the time this is probably out, 60 or 70. My Singing Monsters blew up for Callum and skyrocketed his fame. It was a great time indeed. But there's still one question that hasn't been answered. What's next for him? So, at this point you may be wondering what's to come for my channel. I mean, he's been doing this for two years now. What can he have left? Trust me, I have a lot. And I'm going to actually tell you, if you don't want to be spoiled on anything that's coming up, leave the video now or skip ahead to this time. But, if you don't care, here is what is coming in the next year, hopefully, with more as well. A Cosmic 3, as you know, my Cosmic 2 album recently released. Sketch of Me, which is a new personal album, just to me. Some more CGC sequels, and possibly the ending. A Sinner's Reunion, Rex will be dead. Five Nights in Simulation 2. A Five Nights in the Simulation song, two. A Five Nights in the Simulation movie. A Flynn Norton, See Your Suit and Horace documentary. 
beat box on Earth Island, yes, some stuff for you My Singing Monsters fans as well, but I will be cutting down on that. I'm not going into a My Singing Monsters channel anymore. A Milkman Theory, more speed paints, and between you and me, I might be doing a giveaway. Keep that in mind. And so much more will be coming. Post um, document column here. I forgot to say that right now I haven't been able to get it fully worked on, but. Oh, you can't see it that well. Well, this, despite not being able to see it, is a cosmic video game. Yes, I am making an entire video game for cosmic. So, look out for that. It'll definitely have an announcement and trailer video. Back to the video. And on a serious note, I want to thank you all for sticking with me for these two years. My channel's just getting started and it will be so much greater in the future. All of you, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. And thank you for watching Callum, a documentary on a kid on YouTube. And now a thank you to all of my subscribers. Word on the street, Yuki, Iman Abdullah, Black Imposter 9091 MSM, Warbox Content, CR Suit, Walkstar, Dino West Pro Westy Productions 123, Leo Gamer, Geodal Boys, Diana GoPro 3003, Jennifer Shields, Pablo Fruities, Mr. Meow, Diana Flores, ASAF Neville, Sakhen Lei, it's Flynn Norton and so many more people. Obviously I have more subscribers, but most of them have their subscriptions private. So thank you all and I'll see you next time.